guys, it's Fantasia, and today we are going to be reacting to the Paranormal Stuff Pack. So the trailer did drop yesterday, and yesterday I just could not film a reaction because I was up so late doing the whole leak video because there was a leak for this pack, and it happened at night, and literally I was like recording and editing. It was like four in the morning. It was crazy. Okay, so let's go ahead and just play this, and let's just watch it through. I'm honestly really curious. Ooh, is that a new fireplace? Okay, that's what I noticed right off the bat, and she's like freaked out. The light Lights are flickering. Okay. Candles. Oh. Ooh, I don't know. Like, I'm just like, what? What? Like, I don't know. I, it's like different than what I thought this stuff pack was going to be like, which I expected when I saw the leak stuff. I was like, oh, this sounds different than I thought. The furniture looks really cool. And I think this is like the new ghost. And then, ooh, okay, new gameplay. So there's the host of Seance. Okay. So we are going to have the Seance tables which i didn't know if we'd actually get a table so i'm glad that we are going to now these are all very cutesy ghosts we saw them in the little tease things that the sims was tweeting so i don't know if this is gonna actually be like scary or just like fun and like happy type ghosts i don't know oh my god oh those ghosts are red i wonder okay hold on hold on build with ooh we gotta go through that slower ooh scare up with a new look i wonder ooh I was gonna say I wonder like what the creative some style is gonna be, but that actually looked not too bad for like a scary pack. Okay, so January 26th, which also the leak did say that as well, so kinda figured that. So let's go ahead and slow this down because I like that was a lot to take in. For a stuff pack, that was a lot to take in. <laughs> like Okay, usually stuff packs don't show that much gameplay, so I was not expecting that. All right, so here's the first scene. We're gonna go like scene by scene. So this fireplace is beautiful. I think I'm actually gonna like the build and buy in this pack, which I didn't really know if I would because I was like, oh, it's gonna be like spooky themed. But this actually looks a lot nicer, so I'm happy. Like it fits the vibe. It kind of just looks like, it kind of just looks like a scary movie that's not like Halloween themed, but it's just like a scary movie, you know? That's kind of the vibes this is giving me, which I love scary movies that have to do with ghosts and like houses being haunted and like, you know, people coming into the house to try to like get rid of the ghosts and like they're saging the place and everything like that. I love movies like that. So I'm hoping that I'm going to enjoy the stuff pack. And this is definitely more gameplay than a stuff pack usually usually we don't get this much but i love that plant in the back all right so moving along then the lights are flickering which i didn't know like exactly how the houses would act when they are like a haunted house we do have like a haunted lot tray already I, that came with city living but it's like completely different this is like a totally different vibe this is like actually a haunted house you know like this is like the house is i don't know it's just different like to me this is not like the city living trade at all um, I don't really use that trait. I think it's kind of lame. Whereas this seems a lot better. Okay. So this doll, I'm like curious about this. I don't know like what's going to happen with this. It's freaky looking. I, I want to know more already. Um, we got these like creepy new candles. I don't know if they're just candles. I don't know if those candles can get blown out by the ghost or something. That would be kind of cool. Um, okay. Paranormal stuff pack. And then here's like all the build items, which we'd have to pause because, um, this stuff is nice and I, I didn't know how I'd feel about the build and buy. So I'm so glad that they went in this route instead of like completely spooky themed because we already have like the spooky stuff pack and like I'm just meh about that, you know. I'm glad this is not like Halloween themed, which makes sense because it's not even coming out in October. The, like, I don't know. This is such a like random time to get a scary pack, but because it's not Halloween themed, really, like, I feel like it's fine to get it right now. But look at these pictures. Look at this over here. This couch love that couch is beautiful there is a cute little table this plant like i really love everything in this room so even if i don't enjoy the gameplay happy that i'm definitely gonna like the build and buy this light i'm obsessed with the fireplace to be honest okay let's keep going um then they're just chatting <laughs> okay so new lot type is the haunted house still curious exactly how it's gonna affect the lots obviously we're gonna get ghosts like this now okay so these i don't know there's like different kind of ghosts that are gonna pop up like this there's also like real people ghosts, like actual sim ghosts. There's like apparently like that new ghost that they showed um, in the little teaser before we got the trailer. So we knew that. I, yeah, I don't know about these little dudes. Like they look like nice ghosts, but then this looks like a really mean ghost. And oh my God, look at this coming out of the ground. Whoa. Okay. And see, like, are they like nice ghosts? Like, is there mean ghosts, nice ghosts? I don't really know. 
And I, apparently this painting, he's a ghost, so he can like, maybe you need to put the painting and then he comes out of it. Maybe that's what it is. Probably. I guess. <laughs> so I don't know what he does, but I guess he's like kind of like a little gameplay thing as well. And then here you go, new gameplay, which is the seance table. It just feels like more gameplay. And oh my god, the chairs can lift. I don't know why I didn't like catch that the first time around. And he's like getting excited about the seance. I'm curious about this ghost. Crazy ghost as well. I don't know. Like, I feel like this trailer like shows the gameplay, but doesn't exactly show how it's going to feel. Okay. New career, become a paranormal investigator. So that is the new career. And honestly, could be kind of fun to play with. Okay. See, those ghosts are like blue. Then we have this little scene here. I think she's just, is she doing a seance still? Hold on. What's, what's happening here? <laughs> I don't even know. There's like the table. Then I don't know what's happening here, but then these ghosts are blue. Like everything just keeps changing and they're freaking out. I love that they put the goss in this trailer that's everything <laughs> and she's like beating up this doll love that it's like a haunted doll i'm assuming that's what it seems anyways like in the movies and like okay it's kind of creepy that these dolls are sitting everywhere like i'm wondering can you also just have them as like a normal object to like decorate in your house or like is this doll gonna get haunted too i don't know i really like the clutter items look this is like like you can use this in your kitchens as like a candy jar i like the stuff in this pack for build and buy and then i don't know why the grim reaper is there i don't know <laughs> um okay so uh build with haunting designs we have all this stuff Ooh, there's a little cow plant in there oh i like that okay this i love hold on <laughs> i really like this this is cute i like the style of it all right and then the create a sim so I am surprised they went with this style for Creative Sim for this type of pack, but I'm really happy they did because I hate when a pack is like, so say there's like a theme of a pack and then like all the clothes are themed for that, which like I get it sometimes for like the vampire pack, but like packs like this, I feel like all the clothes do not need to be like scary clothes because when I'm thinking of this, honestly, if I play with this, I'm going to feel like I'm playing like kind of like the scary movies that I watch, like reenacting it, where like all the characters in the movies, they're just dressed normally and their house is haunted. Like to me, this is not like a Halloween pack at all and they should just be wearing normal clothing. So I'm so glad that it comes with freaking cute clothing. Look at this outfit. Oh my gosh, this shirt, these pants. Like I, I love this. Look at this. We don't get things like this. I like that. All right, so let's move along. Oh, and that hair. Ooh, and that hair with the hat. I really like the creative sim for what I'm seeing here. Okay, so investigate the paranormal. Um, and we have the creepy doll again and a bunch of other stuff. I wonder if all these things can get haunted. Apparently, like, certain objects can be, like, haunted, you know? So I don't know if that's what they're showing here. If these are the things that can get haunted. I don't know. And then there's that new ghost again. And then January 26th. Okay, you guys. So that is the trailer. And now there is two different things we got to read through just to kind of, you know, talk about the pack a little bit. All right. So of course we're on the EA website. So let's go ahead and just read through this. So as always, this is linked down below, like in the trailer, in the description. So, oh, we already basically read this. Should I even read it again then? So like the leak was 100% right. So there's meet ghastly, meet ghastly roommates, cleanse your home, calm the spirits. If you guys watch my leak video, you guys already know what all of this says. So I'm not even going to bother reading it. But what I do want to read is this. The Sims 4 Paranormal Stuff Pack manifests soon. So it says, welcome to your Sims new home. Sure, the listing said haunted, but everyone knows that's just a myth. Why should you believe it? At night though, well, the lights flicker overhead, casting shadows at your Sims feet. In another room, a door slams shut. The doors can slam shut? Hold on, did that happen in the trailer? I don't think so. <gasps> the doors can slam shut. Okay, wait, this feels like an actual scary movie and I am happy it went in this direction. For a stuff pack, I can't really complain very much. <laughs> like if this was like an expansion pack, I'd be like, no, I want something else for an expansion pack. But a $10 stuff pack, this is, this just sounds like a lot. Like what? Okay. Even though no one else is home. And what was that sound? Where is it coming from? This is getting weird. Okay. So it turns out there are some rumors that turn out to be true. These spooky specters moved in first and they don't let anyone forget it. Okay. And then there's this photo here. Mysterious runes and clay hands appear randomly while crawling vines sprout in the yard. Wait, what? 
They appear randomly while crawling hands sprout in the yard. That happens randomly. Okay, the sacred candle your sim lit for safety blows out. Okay, so it does blow out. That happens while you're playing with barely a wisp of smoke. And no one knows where the horrifying doll came from. So does the doll just show up? Or do you put it there? Does it really just show up? As the house gets weirder and weirder, goosebumps rise and scared sims scatter in panic, including in, in panic-induced terror. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. So... I did see on Twitter that apparently there's a new scared emotion. So I saw that. I was trying to like keep any spoilers out, but I did see on Twitter that there's a new scared emotion. And I think that's really cool. And Sims do scatter in panic induced terror. So like, that's kind of nice because I feel like the Sims is just always way too happy even when something's scary, you know? Like you actually want them to like, you know, look scared. Luckily, your Sim doesn't have to deal with this alone. There's one helpful friend who's happy to help. Oh, this is Gaidri the ghost. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I keep saying Gudri, Gaidri in my leak video. I was like all over the place, but that's his full name, I guess. So he's happy to help. This somewhat flirty apparition offers the secrets to Serenity under his tutelage. Learn how to appease the specters ruining a good night's sleep. Oh my God. Some specters are playful, others mischievous, and a few are downright honorary. If they leave accursed objects behind, try to tidy up and remove them. Offer gifts to attempt communicating with the specters to try and uh, to please them. If they're satisfied, Sims might get a present in return as the specter fades away. Otherwise, it's time to turn to the seance table. Okay, so there is like different ghosts with different emotions and stuff like that. Some are just playful and I guess that wouldn't cause you too much trouble. I don't know. Um, so th there's going to be some different things happening with different kinds of ghosts and everything like that. You never know what to expect, I guess. And then look at this. Okay, so seances serve as a way to communicate with the world beyond. Perform a seance to sense the mood of specters, commune with the dead, or complete a ghastly ritual. Sims can summon Gujri, Gaudri, Gaidri, who knows, for extra help to summon Von Hilda, the skeletal maid, for a spot of cleaning. Doing so builds a Sims medium skill. Do be careful not to go ghost yourself, though. <gasps> Oh, once a sim overcomes their fear, restores balance to the home, and masters the paranormal, Gaidri the ghost presents a co coveted paranormal investigator license. Basically, your sim can become a ghost hunter. No ghost tracker, ghost buster? You ain't afraid of no ghosts, right? Pick up gigs as a freelancer paranormal investigator to help other sims experiencing haunting phenomena and make a few simoleons while you're at it. <gasps> Okay, so for a stuff pack, you guys, even though like I'm not really into like supernatural stuff. So this is the thing. I'm just going to let this play through while I kind of speak about my thoughts. So this is the thing. Like I'm usually not into like supernatural packs. However, something in the game that like, you know, I don't dislike is ghosts because not that it's like more realistic, but it just like, I don't know. It seems more normal to be in like a simulation game. And like, I, I mean, there is certain supernaturals that I like. Like, you know, I would have really enjoyed mermaids if they added detail down to them. You know, um, I don't really care for like vampires and like uh, spellcasters and stuff like that. But like, I would love to see like fairies in the game. You know, um, I think that would be cute. And like, I don't know. I feel like ghosts are something where the gameplay... I feel like I'm not necessarily doing like supernatural gameplay. Like I'm playing with my regular human Sims and that just, I don't know. I enjoy that a little bit more comparing to like playing with vampires, the, you know, playing with an actual occult Sim. Um, I would rather play with like human Sims and they're like dealing with the ghosts. To me, that's more fun. And I like that this is a stuff pack because then I feel like when it comes to game packs and expansion packs, I want to see the stuff like that I've been waiting for forever. I'm sure a lot of you guys agree. Like so many of us are like, please, please, please let the next expansion pack be generations. And I just feel like there's other more important things they could do for like a game pack as well. But when it comes to a stuff pack, let's start this again. When it comes to a stuff pack, I feel like this is actually a better way to do a stuff pack compared to a lot of the stuff packs. So there's a lot of stuff packs that I feel like aren't necessary in the game. Like we have like... I don't know. There's just a bunch of stuff packs that just literally just have a bunch of stuff. You know, this gives so much more gameplay. It feels like it gives more purpose. I feel like there's more to do. Like a stuff pack usually is just that stuff, you know, and usually we just get like two gameplay items and they're always like small things, you know, even with nifty knitting, I love nifty knitting, but it just gives you knitting. And then other than that, you just have like create a sim and build and buy. And I love that pack because I love the style of it and everything. But like this, it just seems like so much more gameplay. It feels like it's actually going to add to the game more. You know what I mean? So I really like that. So I'm 
I'm actually kind of excited for this, like, unexpectedly, you know? Like, I wasn't excited at all when I first, like, saw the little, like, tease for it and whatever. Like, I don't know. I was like, oh, whatever. This is not going to interest me. But I thought it was going to be very different. I didn't expect them to go about it in this way. And I actually prefer that they went about it in this way. So comment down below if you agree with that. And then we get Von Hilda. Um, a lot of people literally are just, they've said that they're just going to get this pack because of Von Hilda. <laughs> um, because like we've been wanting her for so long and I prefer Von Hilda for like a maid over like an actual maid to be real. I just think Bon Hilda is more fun, even though like I like more realistic gameplay. I've always loved Bon Hilda since forever. <laughs> it's just like a Sims classic. So yeah, I am excited, which is a good thing. Thank goodness. I do think a st they should keep doing stuff packs like this where it feels like more gameplay. I, cause we just need more gameplay. You know what I mean? So I think doing them like this is very smart. I'm super excited to find out more and I am definitely going to be playing with this on my channel. Not like a let's play or anything like that, but we'll see. I could probably honestly just do a couple videos on this. We are going to go ahead and do our notification shout out. So this one, it goes to Savvy Sab and you literally melted my heart. Honestly, I am so happy that I help your depression and for First of all, I'm so sorry that you're going through that, but seriously, I'm just really glad that my videos can help you out. That means everything to me. So thank you so much for leaving that comment. And if you guys want a chance to be in a notification shout out, all you gotta do is comment down below. So you guys, with that being said, we need to go ahead and wrap this up. Let me pause this on like a cool clip. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys also so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can't get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much